I'm meteorologist Carl Bonax. Spring warmth continues. Leaves are budding on trees and that uh, leaf growth will commence as we continue with warm weather. In fact, the official high today, 73 degrees for the uh, 6th of May. The low temperature right on average at 37. That makes it uh, between 7 and 8 degrees above the long term average. Well off the record high though of 85 real heat wave back in 2000. And what we have, well, we have a big upper level ridge that uh, is causing any showers to move into the upper peninsula to just dry up with time. This is the satellite view and radar superimposed uh, during the course of the afternoon into the evening. Those showers fell apart. Here is that ridge. It extends from the Ohio Valley where it's really summer down here up into the upper Great Lakes. On the other hand, a deep trough covers much of the western portion of North America and the U.S. with an upper low of the Pacific Northwest that'll drop to the south to begin the weekend. This uh, system will come out in pieces. The first piece lifts up through the northern plains and then through Ontario. It'll drag a cool front across upper Michigan during Friday. Out ahead of it, summer warmth, but behind it, it looks pretty cool. In fact, a chilly big area of high pressure will cover much of Canada, and uh, we expect a northerly to maybe northeasterly wind to begin the weekend. There could be a shower lingering over parts of the uh, southeastern UP with this front close by. Then the main system will come out the way it looks and head toward the Great Lakes. By the end of the weekend, there could be some rain over the western UP. If it holds off, uh, Monday looks like a rainy, chilly day for early next week. Right now it's rainy in the northern plains, as close as in as Minnesota and the Mississippi River. But again, all that precipitation basically moving due north. We will be warmer tonight with uh, southeasterly to southerly winds out west. Lows may not get below 60 in places like Ironwood, otherwise mostly the 50s, uh, upper 40s to near 50 along the shore of Lake Michigan. Then during the day on Thursday with strong southerly winds, it'll really warm up 70s, some 80s, places like Munising, maybe Marquette, as well as Iron Mountain, Ironwood, the coolest readings again along Lake Michigan with that strong southerly wind. Here's what we expect. The reason for the south wind will be that low pressure area heading up to the northeast. There may be a shower or thunderstorm late in the day, especially over the far west, but most of the rain stays to the west. Then on Friday, as that low lifts up through Ontario, the cold front should sweep across upper Michigan. In fact, it'll probably be through the far western UP to start the day. The best chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms, and it doesn't look like huge amounts of rain, will be over the south and eastern sections of upper Michigan. Look for the winds to uh, make it cooler in the west behind the front, generally out of the northwest to north. Your TV six day forecast on Friday will say an average of around 70, but only the 60s in the western UP could touch 80 in places like Iron Mountain and Menominee ahead of the cold front. Then much cooler, especially noticeable in the northern UP over the weekend. There may be some lingering showers south and east on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, as that next system lifts up from the southwest, there's a chance before the day is out of some rain over the far western portion of upper Michigan. Over the early part of next week, it looks chilly with a good chance of rain.